Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Medios Trump apology after Kim Jong-un's desperate letter to world leaders begging for help leaks. Look, the entire Washington establishment went completely insane over President Trump's tough treatment of North Korea. The media piled on like the jackals they are. It was so dot let me say it this way. The establishment, the media included, has had the same strategy with North Korea for 40 years. It has not worked. Even they, the liberal media, will say that the strategy has not worked yet they still bash Trump for his new strategy. If you were visiting here from an alien world you would think the lunatics are running the asylum. And sadly they were for a long time. But we elected to change course. And instead of helping the American people and their chosen leader, President Trump, when with a new strategy the media mocked him and called him you all sorts of everything. It was a true disgrace. The likes of which we have never seen. And it didn't work. Instead, Trump's get tough approach finally got China to put the squeeze on North Korea and now they are begging for mercy. At least that is what Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull is saying about the unprecedented letter he just received from North Korea. I think that they are starting to feel the squeeze and that is because China, to its great credit, notwithstanding the long and very close history with North Korea, is part of the global sanctions including restricting oil exports into North Korea, Turnbull told the Sydney Morning Herald. So the tighter the economic sanctions are applied, the greater prospects we have of resolving that situation without a conflict. The letter was sent to world leaders begging for help with Trump and bashing him in equal measure. It was titled Open Letter to Parliaments of Different Countries. If Trump thinks that he would bring the DPRK, a nuclear power, to its knees through nuclear war threat, it will be a big miscalculation and an expression of ignorance. The DPRK has emerged as a fully-fledged nuclear power which has a strong nuclear arsenal and various kinds of nuclear delivery means made by dint of self-reliance and self-development. The real foe of its nuclear force is a nuclear war itself. It went on showing North Koreans are bad poker players. The Foreign Affairs Committee of the DPRK takes this opportunity to fully express that the parliaments of different countries will fully discharge their demission and realizing their desire for mankind of international justice and peace with sharp vigilance against the heinous and reckless moves of the Trump administration trying to drive the world into a horrible nuclear disaster. He's nervous. He's desperate. He's losing. And Trump is winning. The media owes Trump an apology or at least an acknowledgement that his new strategy may actually work after 40 years of failure. Please share this if you agree, we must get the truth out. North Korea Letter by Fairfax Politics on Scribd What Sarah Sanders just called Frederica Wilson will go down in history as the BTCH slap her drowned world. Sarah Huckabee Sanders walked to the podium and delivered the counterpunch heard round the world such was the strength of her devastating takedown of Frederica Wilson. In a widely anticipated White House press briefing, Sarah took on the media, Frederica Wilson, and anyone else who has disgraced the sacrifice of our fallen soldiers. By playing politics with their death. It is unthinkable that the, the Democrats sunk this low. But worse, they went after Trump about it. Adding insult to tragedy for the family involved. But they don't care about the family any more than they care about the rest of America. The liberals care for one thing, their power. Which is hilarious because after decades of mismanagement they have basically no power, I am talking about the states and at the federal level. Total wipeout. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said, according to Newsmax, about the disgraced fraud of a human being Frederica Wilson. If you're able to make a sacred act like honoring American heroes about yourself, you're an empty barrel. Perfect. Because that is what Kelly called Frederica and she went bonkers and actually accused him of racism. Which was news to the entire world, empty barrel is a racist term. 
but Sarah was just getting started. If you want to go after General Kelly, if you want to go after a four-star Marine General, that's highly inappropriate, she added. Correct. The man's a hero who lost a son who was also a hero. But the press kept badgering her and kept asking her about Frederica and an annoyed Sarah Huckabee Sanders finally relented. She looked straight into the camera and said what will be forever known as the counterpunch heard round the world. She's all hat and no cattle. Boom. Done. Game over. Go back under the rock from whence you came Frederica your 15 minutes of fame at Trump's expense are officially over. NFL players struck down by Barkley and Shaq's easy solution to protests that honors, not trashes flag. Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal just offered a very simple, totally patriotic, guaranteed to work, solution to all NFL players protesting the flag. And one that actually honors, not trashes America. Basically they just drew a red line in the sand and said put you go damn money where your mouths are or shut up already. I'm sick of hearing about protests. It's time for us to put some action, behind it, Barkley said according to ABC. I'm proud of NFL players for finally getting together with the owners, Tuesday, talking about prison reform and things like that. We've got to work with the police. I want these players, they've got so much money and so much visibility, they can go to the owners of these teams and say, hey, listen. Let's go to these communities and put some time and some effort in there. We have spent so much time worrying about who's kneeling and who's got the fist up, we have not come up with solutions. So I'm sick of hearing about the anthem protests. Correct. Look certain communities in America have been left behind. And the truth is it has nothing to with race but politics. Really. The Democrats were in control of the federal government and most state governments. The rise of the GOP is only a recent phenomenon, and as a country we try to help these communities out. Because America is by far the most generous country in the history of the world. But the Democrats, and their intentions were probably pure, ended up hurting these communities. Instead of giving them paths to own their own homes, build equity, and have pride and ownership, they gave them public housing. I learned when I was 10 that if you didn't turn it or own it you won't respect it. And that goes for jobs, welfare, etc. They Dems created a culture of dependency that stole the ambition and drive, literally stole the American dream, from huge swaths of people. What's needed is what Charles offered, put your money where your mouths are and start investing in and lifting up the communities you claim to want to help. Instead of talking, actually do something and solve the problem. And the only solution to this problem is a healthy dose of capitalism, a shot at the American dream. There is no other way and these players have the unique ability to actually make that happen. Shaq added, I agree with Chuck. Enough talking. When are we going to do something about it? Let's just get something done. Make this world a better place. Barkley added, we're all in this thing together. It ain't a black or white thing. It ain't a cop against people. It's all of us. Correct. NFL players should honor the flag and invest and bring opportunities to these communities or shut the FCK up. Share if you agree. Newt Gingrich just risked everything to tell the shocking truth on Frederica Wilson. Ouch. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. General James Kelly gave Frederica Wilson, D.F.L., some amazing advice the other day and Newt Gingrich gave her better advice today. Newt Gingrich, the level of hatred on the left has left them somewhat deranged and unable to show any decency in situations like this. Look the American political system allows a wide range of people to win elections. That doesn't mean they're wise. It doesn't mean they're knowledgeable. It doesn't mean they have any sense of decency. It means they won an election. I think what you saw in a very simple contrast a man who has served his country for over 40 years, risked his life, lost his son, dedicated himself to honoring America and frankly a politician who doesn't know anything, has no shame, 
has no sense of understanding and can't figure out the time has come to keep her mouth shut. Share this if you agree with Newt Gingrich that Frederica should shut her mouth now and keep her damn dignity. What this intelligence official just said leaked about Jeff Sessions will rock Washington. In a very stunning Fox News Lou Dobbs episode, Lt. Col. Schaefer reported something that Jeff Sessions isn't gonna like. He unveiled that Jeff Sessions refuses to lift the gag order placed on a key witness in the Clinton uranium scandal. Schaefer noted that there's nothing legally holding this guy back except this so-called agreement. He says her attorney is adamant that, this guy has the goods. He has critical information necessary for both Congress to do its appropriate oversight role. Schaefer then continued, Frankly, Lou, what I think the Department of Justice is afraid of and the FBI is, they are going to be shown to have taken a side and acted politically behind the scenes when factually the evidence was clear that certain members of the Barack Obama administration not only abetted the Russians taking control of a critical national resource. Dobbs then interrupted, No. I understand why the Obama administration wouldn't want this informant speaking. I understand why they've even gone to the extent of, apparently, constructing a non-disclosure that has criminal penalties, which is to the knowledge as I understand it of nearly every attorney, never been done before. Usually it's civil penalties. Why is Jeff Sessions stalling on the investigation of the Clinton uranium scandal? It appears that the swamp gets murkier every day. Share this if you think that Jeff Sessions needs to get off his ass and start arresting some people. Barack Obama bashed Trump today, suddenly everyone noticed what was wrong with his mouth. Barack Obama is one of the most divisive presidents in U.S. history. Easily. After Obama. Our race relations are worse than they have ever been. Barack Obama, some, some of the politics we see, now we, we thought we put that to bed. Uh I uh, mean that uh that folks looking. Fifty years back. It's the 21st century. Uh 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 uh. Obama needs to start reading his damn speeches. He can't even read them off a teleprompter without stuttering and stammering like a squirrel on steroids. It's crazy that this man has the gall to attack anyone for being divisive. Share this if you think that Obama should crawl back in the hole from which he came from. Comment go away Obama if you think he should go away and quit trying to divide this nation further.